emergency evacuations are happening right now hazmat crews are on the scene because tens of thousands of gallons of toxic chemicals are being released into the environment and around people's homes causing mass evacuations of hundreds of people all right so this is happening right now let's get into the details here and dive in so we can see here evacuations ordered after northwest louisiana hazmat train derails and this caused a massive train derailment and there are hazmat crews on the scene to contain this massive crash that happened and here's just a little scene we'll get to some more pictures in just a second but you can see here approximately four square miles of a northwest louisiana community was evacuated following a late friday night train derailment involving hazardous materials the incident occurred on the union pacific railroad tracks in kiachi about 80 miles north of jasper this is also right outside shreveport and says according to the desoto parish sheriff's department they were dealing with a spill and leak involving approximately 10,000 gallons of acetic and hydride, and, and which is fatal if inhaled, and approximately 1,000 gallons of propionic acid, which can cause injuries if inhaled or contacts the skin. And here's some more information. It says the initial investigation revealed that approximately 16 cars derailed, which caused the release of a corrosive liquid, Odom said. In the best interest of the public safety, a mandatory evacuation for everyone in 1.5 mile radius was issued. And it said that at least two cars are leaking an acid related product. And that's right here. These two that I mentioned before. And it says um, hazardous material crews are coordinating remediation and cleanup. So another spill, another hazardous material spill, and mandatory evacuations. You can see here this train did derail, and it says 16 cars have derailed, and this will probably shut down this main artery uh, for Union Pacific for at least a couple weeks as well to get these hazardous materials cleaned up. And you can see there's a house right there next to the spill all right so this is affecting people directly people live right next to this rail line and that's something you don't really think about when you live really close to a railway i used to live right next to a railway not this close but probably a couple hundred feet away and you'd hear it constantly in the middle of the night you get used to it but you never think that there's going to be a hazardous material spill you never know all right and this was one of the main railways going up through colorado and to denver you used to live right next to it but you never know there could be a hazardous material spill and i could have had to evacuate and there there's there was nowhere to evacuate there i would have had to evacuate an hour away you know so let me know what you guys think about this what are you doing to get prepared all right let's hope that these people can get back to their home soon but it's sad that they are unsure when the evacuation orders will be lifted because it'll take a while to clean up these hazardous materials so hit that like hit that sub hit those comments down below thank you guys so much and you have a big old blessed day